Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you why an anti-join might just be the best thing for you. So what in the world is an anti-join and why might it be useful? Let's look at these two tables. The table on the left has all of our different customers. And the table on the right has the times that we have tried to get in touch with those customers. So as you can see here, I have dates going up to March 1st of 2020 um, and starting back in 2017. And some of these contacts that we have have had no answer, right? So we called them and they didn't answer the phone. Now, if we called them and they didn't answer the phone, or if we haven't talked to them recently, if we haven't talked to them in the year 2020, we might want to create a list of companies that we get in touch with. And that, right over here on the right-hand side, is exactly what I've done with something called an anti-join. An anti-join says, if there is a listing in the first table that doesn't exist in the second table, then we want to see those entries. So you can see here that the company called Acevedo and Foreman is right here at the top of the list. Let's look at our recent contacts. I'm going to sort A to Z right here and put Acevedo and Foreman right up here at the top. You can see that the last time we tried to get in touch with Acevedo and Foreman is on January 1st of 2020, but they didn't answer the phone. And previous to that, we tried to get in touch with them in 2019 and the sales call was completed. So it makes sense that an Acevedo and Foreman would be somebody that we need to call. Same way here, Alex and DeMello, the last time we talked to them was on February 17th of 2019. So obviously we need to get on the phone and talk to those folks. So let's take a look at how an anti-join allows us to accomplish exactly that. Since we have these two tables, our first step is to click on each of them and get them into Power Query. I'll click here on the table on the left, go to the Data tab at the top of the screen, and choose From Table or Range. That's pull the data from the table or range into Power Query. Click uh, through to that. And I don't really need to do anything with this, so I'll click on Close and Load, Close and Load 2, and come back to creating this as a connection, not as another table in the same workbook. Then click OK. Then I'll click on the table on the right. Repeat the same process. Click on the Data tab, click on From Table or Range, and load that as a connection. Close and Load, Close and Load 2, and load it as a connection. Now let's go into the sales activity table over here on the right. Now you might be able to see in here, there are lots of dates from 2017, 2018, 2019, and there are lots of these entries that are incomplete or that have no answer, those sorts of things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter this down. I click on TBL Sales Activity over here in the Queries and Connections on the right. And what I'd like to do is isolate only those companies who I have had a satisfactory contact with since the beginning of the year. So I'll click here on the Date drop-down arrow, go to Date and Time Filters, and just choose After. And I'll say where the date is after 12 31 of 2019 and click OK. So the first step is to say I only want to see those companies I have had any contact with whatsoever in the year 2020. Then the second thing I want to do is I want to filter this down to only those who have had an answer. So I'll click the checkbox here to disable the no answer option and click OK. And so what's left here is, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, 137 rows representing contacts, right? So people I have gotten in touch with and discussed something with in the year 2020. All the other companies have not had somebody actually talk to them this year. So now what I'm going to do 
is go back over to the query for all the customers. I'm going to start with the customers table because what I'm about to do is interjoin it to the sales activity table and I want to only see those companies that I need to get in touch with. So I go to TBL customers, click on the merge queries drop down menu and choose merge queries as new. I'm going to start with the customer table. Using the company name, I'm going to connect that to the sales activity and say find me all the same company names. But whereas earlier we have used the left outer join functionality, now we're going to go with the anti-join. Anti-join means that there are no rows matching these in the sales activity table. So an anti-join means the opposite of the things we see in here. If we see Merrill Coup de Bartolo, if we see Alva's Audio, if we see Motley Eaton, then we know that we don't need to get in touch with them. It's the companies that we don't see that we need to get in touch with. So an anti-join is filtering that down. You can see here it's excluding 116 out of the 428 rows from the first table. Then I click OK and I've done exactly that. I don't really need this merged on table data right here because this is really just something saying there is no match for these different companies. So I'll remove that column and then simply choose to close and load that too the spreadsheet alongside our previous information and hit OK. And now you can see that, for example, if I sort by company name here and I sort by company name over here, that, for example, Acevedo and Foreman, we've only talked to them as far back as October of 2019. We haven't talked to them in 2020, so they show up on this list. We see Alex and DeMello. We talked to them as far back as 2.17 of 2019. We haven't talked to them since February of 2019, so they're on our list of people we need to get in touch with. 